turning problems into stepping stones of success by balancing the process and achievement of final goals. Problems are only stepping stones to great success. Problems are simply inevitable. In this life, you will always have problems. The key to your success is in your ability to see opportunities in each of your problems. Turn problems into opportunities by focusing on the solution of your problems. Problems are inevitable. In this life, you will always have problems. Problems should be viewed as your opportunities to become a better person. When you have problems, it means that there are rooms for improvement, that something need to be done to improve the situation. To be successful, you need to see yourself as a competent, responsible, and diligent person who can be trusted even with small thing. Remember that you cannot be trusted with big things if you cannot be trusted with small things. You improve your ability in getting the jobs done by doing small things in responsible way. You develop your skills and competencies by disciplining yourself to get the jobs done. Create empowering and positive mental image about yourself to improve your personal performance. Erase negative self-concept that hinder you from taking high-value action. You exercise your skills and competencies in getting the jobs done. You need to grow and accumulate the necessary competencies to get the difficult and complex jobs done. You need to shape your personal character to become a highly disciplined person in getting the jobs done. You need to be able to set your priority right so that you have enough time and resources to get highest value jobs done. There are highest value jobs which are hidden as small but crucial responsibilities. No matter how small it is, you need to see it as highest value job that must be done immediately. An aircraft consists of many small parts, and all of those small parts are crucial parts of the airplane. To achieve great success, you need to pay attention to the little things that means a lot. You need to pay attention toward the small details that make huge differences. Develop positive personal character. You need to see yourself as both a diligent and an intelligent person. Combining diligence with intelligence is crucial. You need to understand the balance. Only by seeing things using the right perspective, then you will be able to make accurate decision. You don't let yourself to embrace any haughty or prideful self-image, because it will lead into your destruction. The key principle is, pride comes before destruction, but humility comes before honor. Being humble does not mean that you see yourself as inferior person. Being humble is respecting others as you want to be respected, treating others as you want to be treated. If you want to be treated with respect and dignity, then you need to treat others with respect and dignity. Being humble also means seeing others as better than you do. By seeing others better than you do, then you will be able to see yourself in a better way. You will be able to see your weaknesses that need to be replaced with strengths. When you see yourself better than others, you will not be able to see your weaknesses, which lead into personal improvement. You need to understand the perfect balance of this principle. Success is not only the end results, but also the way you achieve it. You need to see the process of getting things done as the process of developing positive personal character. Do not see accomplishment only in physical gains, such as money. Character growth is crucial. See the growth of your character when you are in the process of achieving high-value goals. Consider for example the character of diligence. Do you enjoy the process of becoming a diligence person, or do you rush things and compromise quality? Pay attention to small detail that can make huge differences. Pay attention to small detail that can make huge differences when you handle complex and difficult jobs. This paradox can be true in certain situation. To be fast you need to be slow. To be big you need to be small. Take a look at the computer that you are using. Computer is a small tools that can do great things 
because those who invented it pay close attention to very small detail in the component that make up a computer. A microprocessor has millions of transistors in the nanoscale that work wonder as a central procession unit. Achieve highest value goals and enjoy the process along the way by paying close attention to the necessary details. You need to balance between work and play. It seems rather complicated, but when you understanding it, you will know that it is not too complicated. There are simplicity in complex things, and there are complexity in simple things. Just understand the right balance to make better decisions about what need to be done and how to do it. Create positive and empowering manner self-concept. Think and act congruently to achieve your highest value goals. Understand the right balance of things. See yourself in positive and empowering manner without being haughty. Respect yourself by respecting others. Why? Because when you respect others, they will respect you. Apply the golden principle, do unto others, as you would have them, do unto you. Balancing the process and achievement of final results. You need to sharpen your abilities in getting the jobs done by considering the end results and the process of achieving them. Sometime. The development of your characters is more important than the end results that you will achieve. Create list of characters that you want to develop as your personal character, such as discipline, responsible, and trustworthy. Discipline is crucial factor to your success. Discipline is your ability in getting the highest jobs done. Responsibility and trustworthy are two things which are crucial to be successful as a member of society. You need to carry your jobs or profession in a responsible and trustworthy manner. Responsibility is the ability to get the jobs that entrusted to you to be done. If you are a doctor, then it is your responsibility to heal the sick person who are within your care. If you are an architect, then it is your responsibility to design the building that both functional, comfortable and healthy to live in and beautiful to look at. Success and the process of success are working both ways. You are successful when you achieve desirable end results and you are successful when along the way, during the process, you are becoming a better person. When you are in the process of creating and delivering products and services, consider quality as your goals. To achieve quality, you need to develop your personal character by paying attention to details, exercising self-disciplined in your efforts, becoming a responsible and trustworthy person, and delivering high-quality reliable products and services to your customers. And very often, greater quantity is achieved when you pay attention to quality. Put quality as your priority. Quality products and services will attract huge demand from the market in profitable price. Quality will enable you to create sustainable and profitable business system. Quality enable you to create more products and services. Low quality will create low market demand. Low quality is simply unsustainable because you cannot sell your product in profitable premium price. Aim at quantity only when quality is already part of your production system. Keep calm to effectively solve your problems. You need to stay calm to be able to think effectively. Worries is the condition of mind where you think a lot about the problems instead of the solution to your problems. You will always have problems. It is about how you handle problems that you can turn your problems into stepping stones of success. Even the most difficult problems can be used as the necessary education for you about how your endurance, resourcefulness, discipline, and diligence in handling problems. You must not be defeated by the problems. You must be able to use your problems as the stepping stones to your personal growth and character and your ability to think and solve problems and your ability to sharpen your personal core competencies. You need to remember that you must not be defeated by the problems. You need to be able to use your problems 
as the process of personal refinement. Using this perspective, stay calm, think clearly, turn your problems into stepping stones to success. Be happy if you have many problems because it means that there are many rooms for improvement. Certainly, this is not about unnecessary problems which are caused by foolishness. If it is about unnecessary problems of your own making because of your own foolishness, what you need to do is to repent, stop causing unnecessary problems. But the best solution for unnecessary problems is prevention. Never ever do something that put you into that problems. You need to differentiate these two different kind of problems. The necessary problems are about how you can focus on highest value activities, how you can become a better person, how you can improve your personal core competencies, how to serve your customer better, how to make the most of your time, how to become a successful entrepreneur. It's about the positive and necessary problems that I'm talking about. Understand and apply the golden rule. You need to see success as both the process and the end results to be gained. During your journey to ultimate success, you will face many difficulties and problems. You can turn those difficulties and problems into stepping stones of success. You need stay calm and keep your cool to be able to turn those necessary problems into opportunities to grow your character, learn new set of skills, and sharpen your strategic personal core competencies. Love others and you love yourself is the basic principle of life, the golden rule. In this principle, you are asked to love both yourself and others. You cannot love others properly if you don't love yourself properly. You cannot treat others well if you don't treat yourself well. You cannot think positively about others if you don't see yourself using positive self-concept. You cannot lead others if you cannot lead yourself. You simply cannot give what you don't have. To apply the golden rule, you need to cultivate positive and empowering self-concept.